took a week break. Seasonal depression's kicking in, but that's fine. Uh, new video topics. What? No. Nope. Not doing it. Donna Deluxe, not doing it. I'm done with Donda. I'm moving on. Hello. I'm a, I'm a new person now. I took a week break and I got a, a new jacket. It's new. I've never worn it before. <laughs> I didn't really have a specific topic in this video. I know saying that in the first minute is gonna probably have a lot of people, a lot of people click away, but uh, I don't know, I don't really care. At least not for this video. I burnt my finger and I have a blister on it, so I have to use my middle finger to open a can. That doesn't matter. Uh, I took a week break. I have a night shift. I do have a job, you know, besides this. It's a night shift. And the way my schedule works is that it's just work, videos, edit, work, videos, edit. And I, I just saw this pattern and uh, turned the other way because, um... You know, I don't want to fall into that pattern. It, it leads to burnout. Weirdly enough, my TikTok is by far where my most views come from. M -m -m most I get like 600 views a video there. And uh, I only post like once in a blue moon. Because for TikTok, by the way, I hate talking about TikTok as much as you do. I don't really like TikTok, but that's where I get the most of my following, so. I would only post a TikTok if I had a video for a TikTok. I wouldn't go out of my way to give it a schedule or an ultimatum. Because the line of cringy and funny with TikTok can be very thin sometimes. If I just pushed out a video every blah blah, every whatever, uh, like there's bound to be some that are just horrible, right? Not every YouTuber who posts on a daily or weekly schedule or just a timely schedule will ever say that they've never made a bad video. Whatever. Took a week break and uh, I feel great actually. I feel like I've managed a lot of my timing now and uh, videos are gonna be back up regularly scheduled. This one's coming out on a scheduled day, I think Friday? Friday, uh, and then Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. I needed to take a, take a, take a breather, take a second back. That Donda video was like, shut up stomach. That Donda video took like, I'm just realizing you can't see my decorations. I got my lick of tongue, which I've had there for a bit, and then a monster can, because if it were not for monster, you would not have Gusty posting on every scheduled day up till last week. And you wouldn't have Gusty's iconic hair color. I'm kidding, this is not based off of Monster, don't get any ideas, I'm not that stupid. Who remembers Boxy? I love Boxy. How's Boxy doing these days? Boxy is like the pinnacle. She was the, the greatest ADHD icon in the early 2000s. By far. Okay, I say, I, I don't know if she has ADHD. And that stereotype of ADHD obviously isn't true to everybody. I have ADHD, chill. She was great. She would just get on a camera, kind of like what I'm doing right now, and just talk. But it was like, 2009, I think. So there was a little bit of that raw XD kind of quality to it. Because, you know, that's just what people our age were, were doing 10 years ago. Which is so weird to think about. I am so glad of the age range I'm in that I just barely passed this. No. No disrespect, by the way. Anyways. Okay, I like this jacket on me. I like this jacket on me. Sorry, I just, I took a week break and I'm a lot more bubbly. That will be bogged down in the next video, probably. I don't hate making the videos, I'm joking, obviously. Spider way home. <laughs> Spider way home, dude. Sp <laughs> spider no, spider no home. Spider Man no way home. I can't stop. Spider Man no way home trailer two released. Skip to this time if you don't want Spider Man no way home trailer two to be spoiled for you. Predictions for the movie? I definitely think the Iron Spider suit is gonna be destroyed or taken from him because that's one of the least remaining things, the last remaining things that uh, Peter has with Tony. I saw some um, comparison shots of, of the trailer about a certain side character dying, and I really hope it's not true. Uh, here's the post, if I can even find it. No. I really hope Happy doesn't die. I think that money shot of uh, 
three of the Sinister Six going at Tom Holland is definitely CG. Like, if you look at where the lizard is jumping, that's nowhere near Tom. And I love how they didn't try to hide that at all. The Brazilian version of the trailer revealed like a couple seconds more of that shot, just a couple seconds more. And the lizard just like gets hit in the face from nothing as if he got like kicked in the face. So obviously something's edited out. And if it's someone who can be suspended in air and can kick in the air and is fighting the lizard, I do think that um, the last villain we're gonna see is Venom because of the post credit scene and Let There Be Carnage. Obviously, why would you reveal that it's happening at the exact same time. You're just gonna have a sandstorm and a lightning storm with a Spider-Man fight and the Captain of Liberty statue and have Tom Hardy just be like, yeah, no, it's fine, well, I'll skip this. Possibly one of the reasons why Doctor Strange doesn't want the Spider-Men to be coming through to our universe. Wouldn't he want more Spider-Men to fight these Spider-Villains? It's just more people merging to a universe that they don't belong in. That's just more chaos that I have to channel back. I, I get that. But I really think Doctor Strange would see the value in these assets as Toby and Andrew. So I think that along with that, Venom is trying to like get through. And finally, at that fight scene, you will have the three Spider-Men against the final Sinister Six. Electro, Lizard, Sandman, Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, and Venom. I could be completely wrong. I probably am, since there seems to be this interesting direction they're going with Dr. Octavius where he gets captured. And obviously Peter Parker trying to save these villains, which is such an interesting, like, yeah, that's what he would do. Good, good job, Marvel. Good job. Good job. That's what Peter would do. Good job. That's how, that's how he would be. Good job. So yeah, that's basically uh, what I feel about the trailer. Um, and that's the rest of the video. So if you didn't see the trailer, you missed out on like half of what I was talking about, dude. What are you doing? Go see that trailer. What are you, what are you just gonna miss out in history and miss that trailer altogether? I mean, it's not the most exciting trailer that Marvel has ever made, all right? But it's pretty cool. And I think you should check it out because that movie will make history. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. My name is Gusty and um I'm going to put, put some, some dirt in your eye. eye. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you want to turn off now while while the video's ending, right? Perfect silence just just for the video to end. Oh, and there's the outro music. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. Oh.